لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك, لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك لبيك والنعمة Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. This is Asyu Ansar the Ko. I am Rashida Abu Bakar, your regular anchor, welcoming you to another edition of the program. Since Saudi authorities announced new hard regulations ending the issuance of visas 50 days before Arafat, Nakon and relevant stakeholders have been working out strategies to ensure that this new resolution is strictly adhered to by Nigerian pilgrims. To achieve this, Nakon and Pilgrims Board across the country have mounted a enlightenment program for intending pilgrims. The focus is on the need to pay the 4.5 million Naira initial deposit and have it remitted before the end of December. With the deadline fast approaching, Nakon management and executive of Pilgrims Board met recently to take stock of the process of registration by pilgrims and how states are adhering to the request to remit hard deposit to the commission's accounts. In our Spotlight segment, we shall focus on the details of the meeting which reviewed the level of preparation for the 2024 Hatch. Still on the program, we have other regular segments such as Narcon News Diary, which highlights the activities of Narcon and other stakeholders in the Hatch industry. All these are more shortly. Keep watching. <laughs> Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. The program kicks off with the news diary. Top in the lineup, Nakon sets up committees to review catering and accommodations guidelines for the 2024 Hatch. And Nakon approves over 100 private companies for 2024 Hatch. Stay with us for these and more. Keep watching. <laughs> We are going to start with the responsibility of reviewing the guidelines. The National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, has set up a committee to review the guidelines for catering and accommodation services ahead of the 2024 Hajj. The committee, which is headed by the Commission's coordinator of Hajj Savings Scheme, Dr. Ali Utanku, has the following terms of reference. To evaluate the current accommodation and catering guidelines to assess the current standards for pilgrims' accommodation and catering services, identify areas of improvement. Unveiling the committee, Narcon Chairman Malan Jalal Ahmad Arabi said the exercise is to ensure that pilgrims have value for their money. Things do change within hours, not even days or weeks. And for you to flow with the trend, you need to be on top of your game. And you need to be dynamic and changing as you progress. The good thing about it is virtually all of you had been actors in the exercise of 2023. Responding on behalf of members of the committee, Dr. Ali Yutanku appreciated the chairman for the confidence reposed in them, saying they will carry out the assignment diligently. We are committed. In a related development, a committee constituted by Narcon recently to review operational guidelines of the National Medical Team Operational Guidelines has submitted its report. Head of the committee and senior technical advisor to the Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Saeedu Ahmed, presented the report to Narcon Chairman Malan Jalal Ahmed Arabi. While receiving the report, Malan Jalal Arabi commended members of the committee for completing the review on schedule, saying Narcon will study it thoroughly and act appropriately. Uh, I want to assure you while thanking you for the sacrifice 
that we will look at your report uh, most dispassionately with the much compassion that is expected and, uh, to again assure you that um, where we need uh, further clarification or another teamwork to what is actualization we won't hesitate to knock on your doors we actually arrange for earlier in a powerpoint presentation dr saeed ahmed highlighted some of the key recommendations of the report so the need to have adequate training for medical personnel on the uh, electronic medical record is key to ensure that would also reduce the waiting time for the patient the national medical team is responsible for the medical needs of Nigerian pilgrims in Saudi Arabia, mainly at the primary health care level. Still on the 2024 Hajj planning, the management of Narcon and that of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, are perfecting plans to ensure smooth airlift operation at the various departure centers across the country during the forthcoming Hajj exercise. This was part of the discussions that when Narcon played host to the delegation of FAN's 2024 Hajj committee at Hajj House. Narcon chairman Malan Jalal Ahmed Arabi and the leader of the delegation, Captain Mukhtar Yusuf, stressed the imperative of partnership between the two organizations with the status of the 16 airports expected to be used for the forthcoming Hajj being a major talking point. We don't take your position as partners uh, for granted. Uh, we take it serious and uh, we want you to see us too as partners in progress, uh, as a team with a common purpose that working together uh, will all be the be happier for it. We started the preparation early this year for Hajj. Last year, uh, before your tenure, I'm sure the team will be aware that some of the airports in this country were not able to perform the Hajj. But the issues we have with those airports are, are being outlined, so I'm quite sure that um, this year they'll be able to uh, perform Hajj in those airports. <laughs> In other news, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, has approved 110 private companies to participate in the 2024 Hajj exercise. The companies qualified for the issuance of license and slots allocation for the 2024 Hajj after going through thorough screening exercise conducted by NACON. Consistent with NACON policy, the names of the successful private tour operators will be published in the national dailies the Commission's website, and other means of communication. 20,000 slots will be allocated to the qualified tour operators. Alhamdulillah, you are still watching As You Answer the Call, a public enlightenment presentation that keeps you abreast of the activities of the National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACON, and other heart-related matters. It is no longer news that the National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACON, has set the end of this December as the deadline for states to remit heart fare to the Commission's accounts. How are the states, the FCT and the armed forces adhering to this directive so that Nigeria can beat the deadline set by Saudi authorities? Answers to these and other questions in the next segment, Spotlight. Keep watching. Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik The management of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACAN, executives of State Pilgrims Welfare Boards, the FCT, armed forces and other stakeholders are redoubling efforts to ensure that Nigerian pilgrims are registered in line with Saudi new guidelines, particularly adhering to the deadline for the issuance of visa. A major approach towards achieving this is through the different forms of awareness campaigns mounted across the country to educate intended pilgrims on the need to make the deposit of 4.5 million naira by the end of December 2023. 
To ensure that effective enlightenment is carried out, Nakan management held a strategic meeting with officials of the State Pilgrims Welfare Boards and other relevant stakeholders at the Hatch House. The meeting took place on Tuesday, the 31st of October 2023. Top on the agenda at the meeting were action plans for the 2024 Hatch exercise. This includes, among others, level of preparations for 2024 Hatch across the states, three Hatch visits, securing of Mecca accommodation and feeding, visa deadline set by Saudi Arabia. Some of the resolutions at the meeting were to intensify efforts on pilgrims' awareness programs on the need to make early deposit of 4.5 million naira, as directed by Nakon, call on state to make remittances to Nakon account before the end of December 2023. Addressing journalists at the end of the meeting, Chairman of the Forum of State's Executive Pilgrims Welfare Board, who is also the Executive Secretary of Nasara State Pilgrims Welfare Board, Malam Idris al makura explained further. We have intending pilgrims that deposited maybe 1 million, 2 million, 3.5 million, but to get to that 4.5 million um, actually is low. But I think um, we're going out for enlightenment program and inshallah we'll have a good turnover before the deadline. Sequel to this decision, the State Pilgrims Welfare Board embarked on pilgrims' enlightenment and are soliciting the support of clerics and traditional rulers to help in alerting intending pilgrims not to hesitate in making hatch fair payment in time. As a follow-up to the resolutions of the previous meeting, on Thursday, the 30th of November 2023, the management of the National Hatch Commission of Nigeria and the executives of State Pilgrims Welfare Boards, the FCT and Armed Forces, held another round of meeting at the Hatch House. Nakan Acting Chairman Malam Jalal Ahmed Arabi chaired the meeting, which focuses on the following updates. Number of registered pilgrims. Number of pilgrims that paid the approved 4.5 million naira initial deposits, amount of money generated and remitted to Nakan account, as well as sensitization of pilgrims for 2024 Hajj. Every day, as we receive from you, we update our system and we inform the authorities that this is it, this is the level at which we are, state wise or nationwide, and then. It's another strategy of putting the high authority on its toes to know what the expectation is out there by those entrusted, those involved, and those that will even be curious to know. 540 million is for the 120 people. While briefing the meeting, state executives and officials of the FCT and armed forces took turns to highlight the level of preparations in their respective boards, particularly on the number of those who paid the minimum 4.5 million naira initial deposits. You always said was um, um, allocated 1,960 seats. Uh, the total number of pilgrims that paid. Um, the number of registered pilgrims, 286. Total number of pilgrims that paid, 4.5 million, 128. The total amount generated, 834 million, 30,388.5. We are given the allocation of uh, 528 slots. The total pilgrims that have registered so far are uh, consisting personnel family of personnel, members of the families of personnel and others. We have 220 of them. Number of pilgrims that have paid 4.5 million, we have 70. The total allocation we have in Kevin State, 4,752. The people who pay uh, 4,500,000 is 828. On the part of those registering through the Hatch 7 scheme, the coordinator of the scheme, Dr. Liu Tanko, gave a breakdown of the payment recorded. The FCT has registered 65 intending pilgrims who paid above 4 million naira. The figure is the highest compared to all the 36 states. Edo has registered only one person. For Adamawa, we have those that deposited less than 3 million. Uh, they are 18, 3 million and above, uh, 3 million up to 4 million, they are 3, 
4 million and above, the same three, which means uh, they are ready to go. They are ready to, 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 to go. As the officials gave highlights on the situation of registration in their respective boards, Nakan acting chairman, Malam Arabi, further stressed the need for all stakeholders to intensify awareness campaigns to draw the attention of intending pilgrims on the imperative of adhering to the deadline. He said Nakan has produced jingles in various languages which will run on radio stations across the country. Those that, uh, that, that help us to reach out to our people in the villages, we have met all of them and they have given us assurance that before the, the deadline, so we will, uh, we will have exhausted our, our allocation, inshallah. The payment is not encouraging nationwide. We should go back and tell and let the people know that if they are hoping for any extension of time, from the other end, which is Saudi, there is likely not going to be any extension. Now we in Sokoto are trying our best to see that we meet the deadline, despite the fact that there are a lot of chances this year regarding the timing and the payment, the hike in the price of hard seats. But by the special grace of Allah, we are trying our best to see that we meet the deadline. In all, the preparation for the 2024 Hajj is gradually taking shape as ad hoc and standing committees for the forthcoming Hajj are coming on stream. The committees are that of e-track portal registration and national medical team guidelines review. Masha Allah, the program is as you answer the call. Coming up next is Making the Hajj. Tonight, Dr. Muhammad Kabir Adam takes us through discussions on Umrah or Lesser Hajj. Stay with us. Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik, labbaik Apart from performing the Hajj once in their lifetime, the Muslim Ummah are also encouraged to perform the Umrah or Lesser Hajj. What then is the Umrah or Lesser Hajj? How is it performed and when? Umrah is a visitation of the on making the hajj tonight, Dr. Muhammad Kabir Adam answers these and other questions. Allah in his infinite mercy made mention in one verse where he says, وَأَتِمُّ الْحَجَّ وَالْعُمْرَةَ لِلَّهِ Meaning you fulfilled the hajj right and umrah right for Allah's sake. Meaning to observe hajj and umrah for Allah's sake. So if we say Umrah, what is Umrah? Umrah is a visitation of the Holy Land, the sacred land, meaning to visit the Kaaba Mosque, that is Baitul Al Haram, with the intention of performing Ibadah. The three pillars of Umrah or Lesser Hajj are Ihram, Tawaf, and Sa'i, or the work between the hills of Safa and Marwa. But for Hajj is four, plus this three, and you add Arafah. That's so the Arafah is the only difference between Hajj and Umrah. All the exercises are the same. To begin with, pilgrims performing the Umrah rites start by declaring intention and assume the state of Ihram. First of all, an intending Umrah pilgrims will now, first of all, take the intention of Umrah. That intention will take in place in what we call al-miqat. Miqat means appointed places for pilgrims to take their hajj or umrah intention. At the intention place, you are expected to take a shower, ritual shower. Then perform ablution. After the ablution, you now stand and perform two rakaat nafila. Then immediately, you now do the intention. After the ihram, the pilgrims perform tawaf, which is another pillar of umrah. Starting from where we call Hajarul Aswad. You start from there, then you come back to the place, you round the kawa from Hajar al Aswad, come back to the same Hajar al Aswad, you had one round. So then you do it seven times. Since that it is umrah, the time you just arrived, you are needed, not compulsory, but you are needed at least to jog for the first round, 
second round third round you jog then you continue normal walking but for women they don't need to jog next is for the pilgrim to do sai that is the walk between safa and marwa professor salama says allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started with safa therefore he too will start from safa that is why starting point for sai is safa so you now go to the safa mountain from there you now face the kaaba you reta you recite at least allahu akbar allahu akbar allahu akbar la ilaha illallah allahu akbar allahu akbar wallahi alhamd allahu akbar alhamdulillah wahda wa hazama wa nasara abda wa hazama al ahzab wahda up to the end you recite this at the mount of safa as you are facing the kaaba so now from there you now start walking normal walking up to the time you now reach after few meters as you are walking few meters around 50 meters around that you see by your own right hand side green light so now they just do it across just for you just to know so as you reach that green light as a man you start jogging but women they can walk normally so but as for man you need to be jogged so after you start jogging from that green light you reach another green light you stop jogging you continue walking normally you recite as much as you can the number of supplications the same as you did at tawaf so when you reach the uh, marwa you now do the same thing you did at safa you face the kaaba offer some supplication so as you reach marwa you had one one round we call it one round then from there you now come back you do jogging between the green light then you now come to the mount, the supper mount now you have two you now go back to marwa you have three come back to mar to safa you have four go back to marwa you have five from marwa come back to safa you had six then from safa you now go back to marwa again that is seventh round with the completion of the sai male pilgrims will be required to shave their head while women on the other hand will cut a strand of their hair so when you shave your hair alhamdulillah you have come to the end of umrah alhamdulillah we shall continue with the discussion in the next edition of the program and we'll focus on the reward and lessons of umrah now it's time to know the winner of last week's quiz and the question for this week good luck labbaik labbaik allahumma labbaik Welcome to the quiz segment. The question in the last episode was, which type of Hajj does not require pilgrims to offer hadaya or animal sacrifice? The correct answer is Hajj Ifrat. The winner is Muhammad Musa Wobrawa from Sokoto State. He provided the answer ahead of others. Muhammad Musa Wobrawa will be contacted on how Nakon will reach him with the prize he won. A quiz winner will get 25,000 naira cash prize. This is part of Nakon's efforts in social investment in Nigeria. Now to the quiz for this week and the question is what are the three pillars of umrah? Again, what are the three pillars of umrah? Text your answer to the number showing on your screen. The winner will be the first person whose correct answer is received. All answers should carry the name and location of sender. Good luck and happy viewing. Once again, good luck to you. Up next are your messages. Fatima Muhammad from Sokoto State sent in the first message. It reads, "Assalamu alaikum. I am impressed with how Nakon is managing Hajj activities. May Allah reward you all." Ado Shew from Kaduna State sent the second message. In it, he prays to Allah to help Nakon succeed in subsequent Hajj, just as we witnessed in the 2023 Hajj. This is where we draw the curtain on today's program. See you same time same day next week with another edition of the program. But before we go, remember that you can send your messages 
comments, observations, and questions through our mobile phone number and other social media platforms. Once again, thanks for watching. Ma Asalam.